Also tonight, the family of a 10 year old boy shot and killed out front of his own home during spring break is making a new plea for help to find the child's killer. CBS 4's Maggie Newman is live in Miami with what the family is saying about this today. Maggie, what's up? Cynthia, it has now been more than a month without answers for the family of 10 year old Marlon Eason Jr. Tonight, they are asking anyone with information to please come forward and they are praying this doesn't happen to another child. A month after 10 year old Marlon Eason was shot outside his Overtown home, family and friends gathered to remember the little boy and ask for help to find his killer. Every day is March 24th to us. That's the day Marlon's family was changed forever. The child was killed while playing basketball. Our family is torn. Marlon was the only child that resided in this home. So the three adults who live here, our life revolved around that child. So that when that child left the way he did, it just a, a uh, empty void. Family and friends gathered together wearing orange ribbons and t-shirts that said, I am Marlon Eason. Marlon Eason, you know, it, if you take the, the first letter of his name and the last letter of, of his name, it spells me, you know, so therefore, you know, when that happened to him, it happened to me. So we're going to make sure that we make a difference. We're losing our babies to a war that shouldn't be going on. Let's be honest about it. We're killing each other over nothing. They urged anyone with information on Marlon's death to come forward. By remaining silent, we are telling those responsible for the death of our children, it's okay and they will do it again. And they begged for an end to the violence that took the life of this young boy. We're hoping that people come together, realizing that this is a moment of truth. This is a moment that we should not go backwards, that we should go forward and make sure that his life is not in vain. It has to stop, please. Stop. Look at these young men, these young ladies. Give them a chance like we have had to live. Please stop the violence. Now, an organization called Pulse is passing out these information cards around the community. It's one way to turn in an anonymous tip. Of course, you can always call Crime Stoppers as well for a reward. That number, 305-471-TIPS. We're live in Overtown tonight. Maggie Newland, CBS 4 News.